Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. We want to thank our newest patrons. Yes, we want to say a huge thank you to Roganoff, Matrix, Red Pill, Tammy, and Carol. Thanks, you guys. Thank you guys so much. Again, unique videos going up there at least several times each week exclusives and we wanted to we had to okay so let uh let's talk about this uh this says santi's bugs message is to demoralize humanity what the heck are you talking about we're talking about another netflix movie which is basically um well it's a series we understand that Every aspect of our consciousness is manipulated in the dark matrix that's within uh, the original matrix that we find our consciousness. Ah, yes, absolutely. There are messages uh, within messages. And when we saw this, we just had to speak about it. And really, this, um, this triggered Cindy uh, to no end yesterday. And it made us kind of relive some messages that we have gotten from um, the Anunnaki themselves concerning humans and actually coincidentally too um, a good friend of ours who used to work with another channel who is a medical doctor um, and has actually been interviewed by many many people over the years um, that you guys might probably do know well the message that they had gotten him with his other channel was the exact message we got which is the exact message that Netflix is giving you in their new series which is called three body problem three body problem um, this is a, a big reveal they reveal all sorts of things by the way you know you know how well that Civil War movie is doing out there it's doing fabulous you know there, there's tons of people going to see that Civil War movie at this point in time it's it's again about unraveling the matrix that we are in so in this movie uh, series uh, i should say again they encounter an extraterrestrial intelligence um that's uh unwittingly invited by one person who's who's having a rough life and uh the extraterrestrial intelligence themselves uh, tells that the person the person that is sending a signal out there not a good idea you don't know who you're gonna get and uh, yeah you know the, they're on their way and in fact again the technology is so far beyond us um, that at the end of episode five here they literally are redoing the sky uh, into uh, a holograph yeah it's a holograph everybody is seeing and then in the billboards, you start getting messages, you are bugs. This is in direct uh, response to um, a statement given by a uh, probably, you know, like the head of MI6, something along those lines, you know, the UK equivalent to our CIA. And, uh, you know, where he had said he spoke about, you know, bugs and just what you do with bugs, you just squish them under your foot. Well, you know, again, we might think that we're the top of the food chain on the planet, but the reality is technologically, no. Uh, technologically, we've never been the top of the food chain, so to speak. Um, but that doesn't mean, mean that spiritually, the ones with the technology are ahead of us. No, no, that's, that's another story. Um, and so everybody around the world sees a new sky all of a sudden come in, a sky that they had never seen before, and this message going through, you are bugs, and by the way, we are on the way. So, you know, they just basically say they are going to take total control of their technology. They are going to control the development of humans on Earth, and in reality, <laughs> they're just sharing with us uh, what's been done in the past already. You know, it's really interesting because these beings, um, they, they don't have the capability of what we would call lying. So in the beginning, you see the movie, they they put out in the message, if, if you invite us, we will destroy you. <laughs> the lady, she was in such a 
bad, bad place. Um, she did it. She did it because in and and I don't want to give too many spoilers, but she did it. She invited, and um, and they're trying to gain knowledge from this other person who is higher up, and uh, the idea of lying is very distasteful to them. And then you, you know, I mean, as far as the movie being triggering, I mean, it was awful. I mean, it really upset me. It upset me to such a high degree. It probably took a couple few hours to fall asleep last night because of the degree of um, how they're claiming human lives and what they're doing to claim these human lives. Because I, I can see it. I can see it so clearly. And one of the things that came out loud and clear is they have to telegram what they have to telegraph what they're doing. They have to. They they don't lie. So um, I guess that's what upset me. And then the other thing that upset me is there are so many well-intended people out there that feel that they're doing the exact right thing and their heart is in the right spot. Um, they're allowing their consciousness to be taken over and they're allowing their uh, ability to evolve to be stunted and 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 these are all things to varying degrees that goes on in this movie and you'll be able to see it I think I mean this is this is what I saw and, and it just really struck a nerve to a degree that no other movie has no other movie has struck a nerve like that and and even looking at our very own belief system you know you hear them saying the word uh, our lord in there <laughs> and if you that's what they 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 call the aliens our lord now the people in the quote-unquote inner circle who are looking for the aliens to come and wrong all the right all the wrongs basically um which you know of course that's that's the uh the human putting on their wishes onto what you know, ultimately may or may not be what uh, the ETs do uh, in this particular uh, movie that they're given across again, series, uh, I should say. As you see, the all seeing eye appears in the sky. And, you know, of course, they're talking about humans developing technology that could even be a threat to other ETs out there. So they start targeting and eliminating uh, scientists. Um, if you have, if you weren't aware of it, there have been hundreds of naturopathic doctors that lost their lives in the years building up to uh, 2019, and then what happened fully in 2020 and beyond. L loads of naturopathic doctors uh, lost their lives right before, and in in the years before, for several years before um, the plague upon the land came, there was just one after another, after another, uh, quote unquote accident, or, you know, maybe somebody broke in and, and, you know, robbed or didn't rob anything. It, it was a point that was to take away or limit certain knowledge and understanding. And this is exactly what, uh, in this series, the ETs are doing. They're trying to limit human, human knowledge and human understanding. And they give them an all seeing eye in the sky, and then they give them a brand new sky. The old sky disappears. And we have had uh, a hologram the entire time. Mm -hmm. The entire time. Uh, if we were to see where the stars and planets are for real, it's not what you s you've grown up seeing. Mm -hmm. I know. And, and, you know, the way they say our, our Lord in there, it, you know, brings me back to, and again, I, I don't like picking on the Bible, but I know that there's something really wrong with it and I don't believe that Bible came from us I don't believe it was written by humans I don't believe it was channeled by the source of all um, and I, I believe it was channeled by aliens and I believe our belief system was given to us by aliens by an alien entity that eventually wants to come and take us over so this is why it was so so triggering and then i know that there's so many people out there they're they they they're faithful they go to church they 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 pray to their lord that's in the bible and and i'm just thinking oh my gosh you know this is it this is what they are doing and they're giving us our belief system and i can't put it any clearer out there than this movie that's out there so this is why we did a video on it because we are trying to wake up people you know there is that word that comes about called the harvest the harvest. I mean, that is just the most horrible word 
It's awful. It's not a nice word. It has a horrible low vibration to it. And if you think about a harvest, what do they do? They prepare a lot of things. They, they grow and they tend to them and they get them to grow a certain way and they feed them certain things and they grow. And then pretty soon when they're all done, they, they pluck them and they take them away and they use them for something, you know. And I, I think that's kind of what is going on with humanity is many people are out for the harvest and, and, and innocently so. I mean, it's very innocent. They're very sincere. And everything is out there. And, and if you can't see the AI in the Bible, if you can't see the technology in the Bible, it's only because you don't want to. It's, it's there. It's very clear. Yeah. And it is <clears throat> probably their, the thing they cherish the most is the belief systems they've given because it means that we are willfully saying that we are slaves. And, you know, you get humans to willfully say they are slaves, even willfully uh, go and be slaves when the beings come. And that's what people are going to do. People are going to do that in droves. And it's really, really sad that they choose to give away their sovereignty. But I wanted to share this message, which we shared two years ago on E.E. Arts. And it was something we held on for <clears throat> probably uh, quite a while before we shared it because um, it just seemed like it was going to be too much to share. How do you share this? And when when we think and look at what they're showing now, it feels like you know now is the perfect time where people have really got to understand the bigger picture here. So this is um, me and Cindy t about two years ago, a little bit over two years ago, because I, I believe at this point in time we had just gotten Rama and Sita. And it includes some channeling, uh, the information that we had gotten. The 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 beings, the Anunnaki, um, they have come through a couple of times. Of course, we won't let <clears throat> Cindy uh, go under full channel because they are demonic beings when you get down to it. Um, in some in so many ways, from our standpoint, we view them as that. In that, they are absolutely. Um, controlling and manipulative yet they at the same time are telling you what you're doing even uh, when you don't understand exactly what you're doing and this is part of that whole big picture they're kind of designed to follow certain scripts and be of a certain nature where they're easily controlled and they're going to do what they're programmed to do so this is why I believe some of these entities end up in those areas and right now I feel with um, the way evolution is going, I think many of them are getting in touch with their higher selves. They are having a new understanding. And when you move into alignment with your higher self, sometimes you stop and you look around and say, well, that's that's not acceptable for me. I, I can't do that anymore. And usually it's some sort of a stressor. It's like, I really don't like that. It doesn't feel good. I'm going to have to let that go in order to be more connected to your higher self. So it, it, it's like a conversation with your higher self, but in the subconscious manner. So... Again, who created the Anunnaki? Well, part of the group, they were created by the creator of this universe, but it's not them in that sense. Uh, they did have the source work spark in them. In some ways, they've traded their souls, you know, because what Cindy sees is when they die, and they do live extremely long lives. But when they die, all she gets is that there's blackness. There's nothing. It's not like a normal um, migration of a human soul or any other soul that's not part of their Borg collective. You trade an extremely long life for basically one incarnation is, is what we get. So we will share with you this message. And, uh, you know, again, this is something that we debate on and, and hopefully it passes through. And this might not ever get published. We'll have to see if they let us upload this. I'm not putting any hope recently. Um, you're not going to go fully on it? No. Okay. No. And uh, what did they want to tell us? They're saying some years ago, the Anunnaki overlords came to your planet to make announcements of a timeline that will be put into place that will further assist them in having humans be under their control and under their under their they will isolate isolate certain humans to be under their control, under their rule, um, it will further 
institute changes in the DNA to allow humans to become eas more easily controlled. They will institute a uh, change in the DNA to morph the DNA that will be better served for those they're saying they're saying that everyone who is choosing to take this DNA change is choosing to serve them so they're not calling it slavery mm -hmm. um, those who wish to make these changes will have the benefit of serving serving their gods those that are talked about in the Old Testament um, we are those gods. Uh, so they are mm -hmm. Yahweh and Enlil, Enki, and Hersag, Ningashida, Marduk. Are, are these all still al alive? Yes, these, these are the gods in your history books. These are the gods who came to your planet to they say bring humanity up to a new level of evolution so they're saying that um, under their rule humans were much better off and because of them humans are further uh, evolved which they, I can confirm to you that they know that they're lying mm -hmm. they're, they know that they're lying because I can feel the deceit um, well, they might view technology and stuff as being further along, but it's separation from the source. They view technology as better than source. They view technology as something that can enhance evolution. They, that's how they see it. When do they plan on coming back fully? They said that they're on a 20-year timeline, approximately, according in accordance to our time, about a 20-year timeline to re-establish re themselves on the planet in certain ways uh, for those who do worship them, for those who do uh, what they're asked, they will, they will be greatly rewarded in the material realms. So they're, they're using uh, influence to blackmail people. Mm. Um, so there is this timeline that was put into place they're taking over they're changing people's DNA this will make it harder for people to resist uh, resist their control and for them they're calling it free will because people freely give up themselves the booster shots all of these things are to keep people from evolving and out of their control so to them they're doing people a favor to keep them uh, to keep them closer to the Anunnaki they think they're doing people a favor by doing this um, I think they're they think they know I'm reading them now it's not really good uh, talk to me ask me something um, so they'll take control over from the EGG and take full control no more GG middlemen, no more politicians. They're gonna show, they're showing themselves as continuing to go through the GG. Um, the GG are going to, the GG are going to work with them. They said the partnership with them and the GG is becoming stronger and more equal. So they, they don't wish to try to overthrow the GG. Their plans are to work with them and create a stronger force to control to control the planet and its inhabitants. Where is Nibiru right now in, in the solar system? Is it in the solar system? It is, right? It's just on a, a fourth density? They're showing me it's on a cusp of something, and yeah, it's in another density that some, some might be able to see it, but most cannot. And is it outside of the orbit of Jupiter, outside of the orbit of Saturn? Is it farther out than Uranus or Neptune or Pluto? Uh, they're showing me that 
Jupiter is quite far away. I'm looking from there to Jupiter is very far away and very small. So they cannot come close enough. They can't get very close because even in fourth density, it can interrupt Earth's atmosphere. Okay, so it, it's, 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 it's in our solar system technically, but it's, it's well past Jupiter. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Is it um, closer than Pluto or, or somewhere out in those? I, w I, w I want to say around Pluto, Neptune area. Oh, it's about there. Yeah. And um, now, are there other fourth density planets that they don't control, or do they control all the fourth density, lower fourth density ones? When it comes to free will, there are planets who have taken back their own free will, but they have to walk away from the technologies and then be able to self-sustain. Currently, most people on this planet, they can't do that. They cannot walk from the technologies and self-sustain, so they're, in that sense, they're forced to be under their control. There are planets that are completely free, though, and we're in line to become free if we so choose. So, um, did you get that that was, was that just a holograph that was in Antarctica, or was that an actual person that came here? And that looked the leadership. It looks like an actual person. It looks very solid to me. So it, did it, it, do they have the ability to, to manifest in 3D? They do. They do. They have that ability. It's in 3D and 4D, where we are right now, is probably right, right on the cusp, I would guess. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it's an energetic uh, perception. So people can feel their energy. Some people can feel, some people can see and feel it. You and I would be able to most definitely feel it. If, if people are, have like really strong um, reptilian energy, reptilian DNA, they could probably see their the form of what they are. No, they don't appear reptilian though, do they? No, no, it's the energy. It has something to do with Kundalini energy and controlling it. Who is the leader on Nibiru right now? What's that entity's name? Do we know it from the history books? Oh, it's a heavy name. It almost sounds Russian, feels Russian. Um, there's an R in it. I can't get it. I can't say it. It's Russian. It has an R in it, and a G in it. Um, is it of the lineage of Enki or Enlil, or not of either of those lineages? They said that it, it, it stated back further. It's much more ancient. So it's not Enu? Before Enu. Before Enu. More ancient. This is a seriously ancient energy that knows how to control and is very good at it. So we, was Enu never really the top controller? In, in the Bureau? Edu is also, at some level, a servant for this entity. Um, wow. He just does whatever this entity says. It's a very powerful entity. And it has created its world so that those who serve it truly want to serve it with their lives. So Edu takes his responsibilities very seriously. Edu acts as the god, as the leader, um, because he wants to please this thing that to them, it's like a deity. To them, it is the Almighty God, and they want to make it proud. So they serve under that um, perception. Interesting. So is this is this thing AI, or is this one of them? It's some, somehow it is uh, co co coexisting with AI. A lot of that that it does has AI to do it through. So this is like. Uh, biological entity and AI mixed very close to one another. They need each other to survive right now. It, it's really a very, it's quite powerful. Having <coughs> biological uh, abilities and AI abilities right out 50-50. Um, it is the merger itself, they're saying. It is the merger itself. It's the merger of AI and, the bio and them. Yes, so they, to them they see it as a, a god. Is this kind of like almost what the type of thing that's referred to in the Alien and Prometheus movies? You could say that, yeah. Does it look different? It, it, 
It doesn't look so different. What it's big and bulky to me. And the energy is black and it's salt. And there's there is a name to it that I can't pronounce. There it has a rolling R. I don't know, I can't get it. Um I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. So they said they're on a twenty year timeline. So when they come back and harvest humanity, so to speak? Yeah, they come back and they'll have those that are already, um, those energies that are ready to be taken to them, uh, on onto their org, so to speak. And they will be like the fuel for, for the org. They'll be that which runs the org, the, the That's the source energy that's in each one of us that they'll basically use to harvest, run. right. Um, but they're they're making it sound like people are choosing to do this because mm. they want to serve the higher the greater good. Will we see any of them show themselves to the public before the twenty years comes? There's going to be uh, announced that certain humans are of alien lineage, and they're going to use that to uh, to start to explain about alien races. They're going to say, well. We found out that certain humans are, are you know, twenty percent alien DNA, and this they're going to use ourselves to introduce themselves. We'll, we'll we'll see each other as human, but we will have an understanding that we all have carry a different alien race. So we've blended long enough, and we know our fellow human long enough that they can safely start to introduce themselves through through us. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they will show some of the leaders of the world and say that they're of Of this lineage of that, yes. Yeah. And, and like, what are some of the lineages that they'll talk about? Well, they're all definitely going to bring up Pleiadian. They're going to try to say that there's, uh, like, all the heroes that we've, we've talked about, they're saying they're going to bring up many heroes that people think highly of, like Krishna, like, um, Krishna some of the other Hindu gods, they're going to pull a bunch of these gods out that, that we that we know to be good, mm -hmm. and they're going to use their name and their reputation to create a, a facade of beings that really are working for the Anunnaki, and they're going to have people buy into, buy into it. So when they do start saying, well, this, you know, Krishna, you know, this entity and that entity, Oh, by the way, here's the Ascended Masters. This is their lineage. No. Okay, so this is where you start to use your heart chakra and you can feel these beings. So they're going to take it from the literature that is sparsely out there. Mm -hmm. and, and that'll be... So that's where it got cut off. But um, hopefully you guys found that interesting. And again, that makes you think... And so <laughs> that was me uh, two plus years ago. Uh, sharing that which we had gotten. So I guess I want to say that I think we got this at the beginning of the Plague Upon the Land. It was during the time when the first cures were rolling out. And, you know, again, we couldn't discuss what's really going on so obviously um, because it's just massive. I mean, it, it's a massive plan. But when you even look to the Bible, again, um, the f the modern Christian point of view is the system's point of view. The same thing with Islam. You know, in fact, the whole Abrahamic tradition really is is uh, Anunnakian uh, of Anunnakian origin. It really, really is. And yet, you know, there are things in there that are taken from older sources. Uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, sprinkled together. It's a sales job, is what it is, and it's a sales job to get humanity to willingly become slaves. So again, uh, I want to say this was 2021 when we actually got the information, um, 2020, 2021, and we, we shared it in this video um, in uh, 2022. And uh, at the same time, you know, we have seen things roll out that are just so obvious, and now they're conditioning people to accept, you know, ETs which is real, 
Um, but as always, they will portray uh, things in a twisted light to serve the purpose of keeping people in the system. And you know what? What is the ultimate end of Revelations? There's going to be a new heaven and a new earth, right? And you know it's interesting because it describes what what sounds like an artificial light. And people will still be slaves. Every person is still marked with one, you know, one mark or another. Either you get the mark of the beast or you get the mark of the Lord. You're still marked. You're still cattle. And what's the outcome? You're going to serve the Lord. You're still going to stay a slave. But you won't be here on earth. You're going to be taken away from earth to literally work on Nibiru or some other planet. Maybe you'll be stuck on Mars and in the... uh, you know, in the mines there, or maybe you'll be working some asteroid off in the middle of nowhere as a slave. Uh, the the fact of the matter is, you know, they're going to get humans to willingly be slaves. So this is how um, they are <laughs> rolling it out. And, you know, again, you got the little Anunnaki wiki. You don't see Nephilim wikis. I, I don't think I've ever seen a Nephilim wiki because... You know, it's it's part of the program. This exposes too much of the program. And right now we have Christianity and Islam, you know, going to self-destruct to two religions that they created and and twisted and distorted to use them to make it uh, a more manageable number of people on the planet that are here when they come back. It's just it's so uh, sinister and yet you will get people that when they start, when they realize that when they've been saying Lord the whole time, they've been talking about these ETs, that they're still going to decide to go with them. And there's nothing you could do with those people because, you know, again, it's also written that people will look for death and death will escape them. Well, that's because they could keep uh, the source spark trapped in a human body that is being merged with AI so the body doesn't let go the source spark gets lowered in frequency and is trapped within a vehicle it can't escape from it can't go on to a normal incarnation you know this is as evil as you can really imagine mm. it's it's really pretty brutal you know and 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 that's why it, it triggered me so much because i don't want to see so many people um in that situation Voluntarily, but at the same time, I, I have to find a level of acceptance and letting go and saying, you know, everyone's going to make their own decision. But our job and our mission here is to at least put the alternative information out there. So if someone wants to investigate and dig a little deeper, they can. And, and that's their free will. And to me, if you're not doing what you're heart chakra is calling you to do if you're not following that heart you're under control of something else you know if you're looking to this or looking to that to figure out what you need to do that's that's you know we need to stand back and say well what would I do if I didn't have to go to work and make money you know what would I enjoy doing and it's surprising the amount of people who cannot answer that because of the level of conditioning on our planet. Um, I, I mean, to me, it, it's a very serious, serious subject. Uh, and, I, and I do take my work seriously. I, I, I'm not here to simply make people afraid. I'm not here to just get views. I'm not here to get followers. I'm not here out of any of those reasons. I'm here because I've seen enough people get harmed because of the system that's put in place I, I just I can't stand it I, I have to say something now and that's my calling and that's my purpose and and that's that's what I judge for me so we, we should all be able to judge for ourselves at the same time whittling away the uh, what's whittling away the the conditioning that's been put around all of us you know having that place finding that center to see you know what am I supposed to be doing in this life and what I see right now is the stunted growth of our evolution I mean stunted in a huge way and that's very very deliberate because otherwise we would grow up and out of their control we would realize oh my gosh everyone would wake up and they would see 
they would see out the window and they would see the lands and you just you don't know what you don't know and, and they keep us in a place where we're not allowed to even explore that I mean they keep you in fear of looking outside the Bible for anything and then if if someone does want to step outside of that you have 20 people nipping at them saying don't do that that's of the devil that's evil that's wrong so you see how they have humans we're stunting each other we're doing it to each other we're toddling on each other and that's something that um i don't think is is i don't think it's part of evolution and i don't think it's very nice i think people should be able to explore who they are and figure out you know, what side of things do they want to put their energy into in, in, in a free way, in, in a free-spirited way? Absolutely. So we see the chaos going on in the world. This is over in Sydney where there's been, uh, you know, some horrible stabbings that have happened and you have people up in arms. And this is all just going to end up making things ultimately easier. And at the same time, how could we truly wake up all these people that are being so manipulated? Um, you know, here you go. Here's a statement. The world will hate you the moment you start talking about Jesus Christ. Well, you know, they're quoting Mari Mari Emmanuel, pray for him. This is uh, the priest that was stabbed in one of the stabbings. The reality is the majority of the world, uh, at, from a religious standpoint, does follow the mainstream religion. So, you know, it's and and they'll say, oh, they're going to take your Bibles away. It's the most published book of all time. There's more Bibles on the planet than anything else. Number two is the works of Mao and number three is the Koran. So all three of those are the system. They're all the system. I mean, it's it is self-evident for those that really do have um, that insight. That's natural. And here's somebody brandishing a cross and and just listen yes. this is how witches were burned you, you see how the manipulation is so simple it's so simple you know get one group to attack the other group incite that group to attack back next thing you know it innocent people that you really want to get rid of as far as the system goes the ones that really understand what's going on get dragged out and burned as witches or heretics or uh, uh, infidels you know this is what they do this is how they eliminate those that are awakened so you know Austrian Australian Christian patriots these are all labels you know uh, again modern day Christianity is theirs it's theirs the, they've given us this because you know the real Yeshua was speaking about the abilities of humanity in general and the fact that you're you are a slave to a satanic system that you don't understand as soon as we start labeling ourselves like ray conservative computer scientist and entrepreneur building 21st century uh real estate and healthcare solutions <clears throat> you can't get any more in the system and and ray will end up probably being a spokesperson for the uh, anunnaki when they come yeah, you know, because again, they're just going to promise all those things. And Elon's going to say, look at these guys. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Yeah, this is what I've been talking about. Hey, who wants to go to Mars? Yeah. Hey, who wants to see Nibiru? Hey, you know, don't you want to go for a ride? Y you know, and, and most people are going to walk off the cliff. This is the reality. You're, we're not going to save uh, all the humans from willfully becoming slaves because, you know, this is what goes on. Uh, repeatedly throughout the cycles yet at the same time there are whole planets that are completely free now and this is why your sky has always been a project blue beam you're not seeing the real sky and it didn't just start with the chemtrail spraying no no it, the chemtrail spraying is to cover the fact uh, it's covering multiple things obviously it's bringing certain things nanu nanu uh, all sorts of micro dust into uh, human bodies and also enabling many frequencies to penetrate to levels that they haven't penetrated in the past. Uh, yet those heavenly bodies that some people see up there that seem to be uh, unusual are real. And it's the fact that we're shifting. Our DNA is still 
uh, rewiring itself when we are told and people believe that you have over 90% junk DNA your wiring has been disabled they've disabled most of the, the programming in your body for this dark age that would allow you to see through all this so now they're doing an even bigger downgrade because it really is a downgrade it's not an upgrade in order to keep people suppressed while the true creator of this universe and all the real benevolent beings are sending energies out that are awakening those that stay out of the system this is why you know basically we say get off the train tracks ground and root yourself uh, don't be hit by the, the the train coming rolling down those tracks because on the other side of that those beings that they don't have at a certain point of time they know they're not going to have and just like right now there are plants very close to us with beings that are, are totally free and they are interacting with benevolent beings from other worlds on a regular basis and you know yet they're not under the system and yet they're they're closer to us than Nibiru is so it's a choice it really really is a choice do you want to be a slave or do you want to be free I think it really maybe it throws people or confuses people. And I, I could be wrong, but I, I think some people are really confused when we say Christianity, you know, we, is a control system. Islam is a control system. It's not it's not something where you're being devout to a very good entity. Um, I think people expect you to say things like, well, do you give your soul over to Jesus Christ? You know, is he your one and only savior? And it's like, you have to say those words. Otherwise, you get kicked out of the club for all the popular kids. And I, I can tell you from channeling him, from speaking to him, he does not want us in that system. He, for because he loves us, he wants us to be free and there are plenty of ascended masters out there for people to be able to explore their heart i can tell you that it, it's almost insulting you know it is the word for him he does not want to be worshipped he does not want people on their knee he does not want people saying those words that you know i give my everything over to um, jesus christ no 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 he does not want conformity to the system because he he knows what it is and i don't think we'll ever be able to place a label on someone who's finally freed themselves and someone who can see past past the lies and someone who can see past the boundaries that have been placed in front of us where they've just plastered a label of christian you know i don't think i don't think there's a way to describe mike and i and i i, I feel that humanity everyone should be that way we shouldn't just so easily have a label slapped on us it's not like that no they don't they don't use any of those labels mm -mm. <clears throat> in the higher densities no no they don't use any of those labels in the higher <laughs> densities that's really important to remember it all comes from the heart chakra it's all a frequency and even though we are in this lower dense world labels do help but they're not everything and and i tell you the bigger the label the more popular it is the more you should keep an eye on it as soon as you label yourself, you cut yourself off from possibilities. Right. This is the realization. And you'll see people that will say things like, I am a, you know, they, they will say that they are a Christian patriot. And people will be like, oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, but that means that, that they're not something else. And they're not actually, what they're not is more than what they are. And they limit their growth. We are consciousness itself. It, and even the human experience is it meant to be. It's meant to be a temporary human experience. And, and that's the realization. You don't need salvation from anybody. You, you need salvation from the system because the system's trying to, to keep you trapped for all eternity. It wants to keep you in a never-ending uh, loop of living under their control and truly in, in some ways it is like giving your soul away to live on in a hellish system when you could be uh, living in one that's very very heavenly and certainly the beings that control uh, this demonic reality do not have the keys to anywhere I want to go me neither absolutely guys look forward to your comments source bless and namaste namaste